so that concludes our Edmonton trip. Amazing, amazing time. Thank you to our family for everything. We made it very memorable and we can't wait to come back. Uh, thank you to our fam for everything. It was an amazing trip. Never thought that I could have so much fun on like an extended weekend or trip. Never thought that I could eat that much in such a short amount of time. For everyone who hasn't been to Edmonton, definitely come out and check it out. Because uh, definitely a lot to see here. I was able to fulfill my childhood dream of going to the West Edmonton Mall and checking out like the indoor water park and all that stuff that it has. And you'll love the uh, mosquitoes because there's a lot of them. And yeah. I think for us, we are really lucky because our family was very generous and very caring and giving. Welcoming and Very kind. welcoming. So it's definitely something we will never forget and always remember. And I think even though the kids are really young, they'll always have it in, in their mind of their experience. Now we're on our way back to... Uh, where are we going first? We're two hours and 15 minutes from our first destination, which is Calgary or Red Deer. So basically, Rocky view or something like that. basically just going back to so where we view came here. Um, hopefully, we'll be home by around maybe one in the morning or two in the morning at this rate. Let's see how long it's gonna take us. We're currently at Cross Iron Mills, Calgary, and we're currently sitting at 50 kilometers. We're gonna fully charge here and grab something for the kids. Earlier, Jonah wasn't feeling well, but since he got some sleep, he's feeling a lot better. Cross Iron Mills, what, what? It's actually what do, the same mall or same, what do you call it, developers as Vaughn Mills and Tawasin Mills, but this is way nicer, like, look at this. And newer. And newer. Like, look at the detail. The lights, the fixtures, more modern. What did Uncle Luke give you and Jonah? He gave you a bag of toonies and then the other one's for Jonah, okay? Give it to Jonah. Look at this stunning view. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. We're in Banff um, National Park, which was about an hour and 45 minutes from the mall. So now we're gonna go check out the exhibit museum and caves we're at Cave and Basin in the closer entry part of the park. Kids got their activity books. Same with me and Andrew. We got our explorer books. It just shows all the parks here. I think so. Their guided towards the bridge if they were trying to make their way this way. 
and they may climb over it. It's a nice green area on top and they may get over the freeway nice and safe. Charging up um, Golden Town, it's kind of middle of nowhere. Jonah's feeling feverish. Um, I think he got it from my nephew, Ollie. But I said she has a headache, but I think it's the way she was lying down. We're gonna look for a place to get some medicine. Hopefully Chevron will have it. I honestly haven't been at a gas station in a while, so it's the only reason why we're going. What's happening? Chinese food. Okay, Jonah. Not feeling well. Just had Tylenol. Here, here drink some of this. Ginger ale. Okay, this is our last charge before heading up Vancouver. We are now in Kamloops. Kamloops is beautiful. That's so cool. Look at this huge fish. I have no idea what kind of fish this is, but yeah, looks like that's the official fish of Kamloops. So we're still charging the car and we're having dinner. We just got two Martins just having some soup since the kids are feeling well. This one's still grumpy, not feeling it. This one's and we're about three hours away, so we're almost there. All charged up, ready to go. Daddy's setting up. Kids are set up. Daddy set up ET. This is a Blu-ray DVD that Daddy bought from a vintage bookstore in Edmonton. How much did you get it for? Uh, five bucks. Four bucks. Five. Okay, here we go. Take us home, Mama. Three hours and 14 minutes. Alright, so it is now 12.28 a.m. here in Vancouver. Um, but we're probably used to Edmonton time, which is an hour ahead. Um, the last two hours, I have to say, was the hardest two hours for myself because I had no music because the kids are sleeping. <laughs> And what else? No music. What was I asking? And no one to talk to because I'm just sleeping because it's work tomorrow. So if you're gonna do a long drive like that, just make sure to have someone that can talk to you and have good music, have air, get some sleep. I'm gonna sleep. Good night. Thanks for watching. Say bye, Andrew. Bye. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.